channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to crochet faster. Just in case you're like me and you haven't finished all your Christmas presents yet, I'm posting this tomorrow, so we have four days left. Well, I guess three days if you want to get it done before the day of Christmas. <laughs> and I'm wearing a tinsel sweater. I haven't worn this in a minute because it's really itchy, but I thought it would match the festive vibe today because I am filming in front of my Christmas tree. Um, also, I was going to make a tutorial on mittens, but after I read through like the terms of the free pattern, it actually says you're not allowed to make video tutorials, so unfortunately I can't. So I'm working on my own pattern right now, so I have the rights to it and I can do whatever I want with it. So I, that will be coming probably after Christmas since I am making all my crochet Christmas gifts so last minute. But yeah, I hope this video helps you. I'm gonna be crocheting some scrunchies today because I just recently got a bunch of different colors in. I love this color. So the first tip is carve out a chunk of time so you don't have to worry about other things while you're crocheting and you're not like being rushed because it's good to because if you have to crochet and then take a break, crochet, take a break, it really ruins the flow of your crocheting. Also, I have the scrunchie pattern linked down below on my website now. So if you want to crochet a scrunchie with me while you listen to this video, the next tip is to choose the right hook because you can't really trust the, the sizing of the hook on the yarn because I tend to like either use a smaller hook or a larger hook depending on how tight I crochet. So it's really like personal preference. So just find the one that works for you. Going along with that, it's obviously faster if you have chunkier yarn rather than like really thin yarn and you just have to crochet more. So maybe consider that when you're choosing what projects you're gonna do. And if you're following a pattern, make sure you kind of skim through it. It's like a test where you should look at the questions before you actually start the test so you know what's gonna be ahead of you and you can kind of process it faster. Make sure you're in a comfortable position. I like crocheting on my bed just cause it's all cushiony and my butt doesn't hurt after crocheting for like hours. Uh, this shirt is pretty comfy too, but the sweater is pretty uncomfortable. Make sure to stretch just like before you exercise, you stretch your whole body. You're working these fingers hard and your wrists. I remember when I first started crocheting, my thumb would always hurt cause I was just gripping the crochet hook so tightly. So make sure that your wrists... I have a meeting right now. Uh, the next tip is to get into the rhythm of things, which kind of like goes along with all of the other ones. Cause like the longer you sit down, like the periods of time, the faster you can crochet, at least in my opinion. Cause when I have to get up and then start crocheting again, I, it takes me a while to like get in the rhythm of things. Uh, next tip is just to put on your favorite movies or TV shows. So it makes you want to just like sit down and do nothing. And I mean, I feel like everyone does this anyway, but yeah, actually, I don't know who literally crochets in silence by themselves. I mean, good for you if you can do that. <laughs> Oftentimes we get used to like a certain hand positioning while we're crocheting But it could be pretty slow my friend shout out to you Julia recently started crocheting But I honestly I think I'm calling you out But I think you should change your hand positions when you crochet because you can just experiment with it and then see which one is the most comfortable and what will help you crochet faster. This is how I like to hold my hands. Uh, some people kind of like hold it and like, I don't know, they just don't have a good grip. So I feel like that's something everyone can work on unless you're a pro crocheter. Shake out your hands once in a while because I find that when I crochet for a long time, even if I'm still crocheting fast, my hands start to tense up a lot and I just need to kind of like take a break and just like shake it out because you might get sore hands the next day because i feel like this crocheting is it's a workout for your fingers at least so those are all the tips i have for this video they're all kind of basic all kind of generic but 
If you didn't know any of these tips, then I hope it did help. I wish you good luck on all your Christmas present making if you haven't finished them yet. I'm trying to finish everything within the next two days. So along with a couple more orders I need to finish. And then I can, can start making things for myself, I guess. My One of my goals is to finish my sweater vest. And I still need to make a sweater for my mother. So I will definitely be bringing you along with those two big projects. I feel like anything that's wearable is going to take a lot longer than, um, for example, this. I actually really like crocheting scrunchies because it's like way faster than making like dolls or clothing. It's just kind of like instant gratification because you can see the finished product way faster than the other projects yeah and i'm planning on coming out with a lot more patterns in the new year so be amazing if you could check those out i'll always update you when i post new patterns but yeah i'm trying to get the hang of like actually writing down my patterns rather than just like remembering it in my head so i can actually have something to reference to so now i got my thing done and i have my elastic here and now I'm going to crochet it around the elastic. Hmm. Also, what do you guys think of just doing a long crochet with me in front of a fireplace? I feel like that'd be very cozy. And hopefully inspire you guys to keep crocheting and not give up on your gifts. Cause I know when you hit that point where you just like crocheted so much, you're just like, I don't, I don't know if I can do this anymore, but you can do it. We got four, three or four more days left. I guess I'm just crocheting in silence right now myself. <laughs> so I am one of those people. And if you guys have Instagram, make sure to follow me and send me any pics that you guys make, um, like your crochet creations. I would love to see them because I don't get to see you guys at all. So it'd be cool to put like faces to names of the comments. And welcome to all the new subscribers over the past couple weeks. Um, I'm very excited to make more videos in the future. And I'll be putting a poll out to ask like what types of videos you guys want to see in the future i know a lot more tutorials so i'm hoping to get to those but it's just like tutorials take so long and i have to be careful with like copyright and stuff because a lot of patterns do say like you can't recreate it in a video so if you want tutorials on certain things i'll probably have to make my own patterns for them just so i don't get sued <laughs> i finally finished my secret project for the the one that I got a lot of orders for, that one was pretty exhausting because I did make the same thing many times and it's like, it's I still enjoy it. But I feel like those types of projects, it feels more like work than like a hobby. So I kind of like take breaks from doing that and then I just made a bunch of scrunchies because it's just so, I love crocheting with velvet. Like it takes a while to get used to but I don't know, it's just something about it. It's just so soft. And I absolutely love this color. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, and we are done. So this is what it looks like. Well, I'm not actually done yet. I just cut a little tail. And then, oh, that was a lot of fluffies. Um, Okay, I actually don't have my darning needle with me right now. So I will insert a clip of me just sewing all my scrunchies together because it's still kind of like this. So if you haven't finished crocheting your scrunchie yet or other projects that you're crocheting right now, I will add a time lapse right now. But before I go, or you'll see it, a earlier version of me. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope these tips helped at all. And Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Bye.